orbital velocity is about 20 centimeters. Mark control, spacecraft, we have no lunch, it's over. The CLC, or Challenger Learning Center, is a uh, living memorial to the Challenger crew that died and lost their lives in 1986. It was put together by the surviving family members of that tragedy. Um, they decided instead of putting a statue or a memorial up somewhere that was stagnant, they wanted to have something interactive so that students could continue to be inspired by the, that mission that had the first teacher that was going to go into space and uh, teach lessons from space about science, technology, engineering, and math to get students really excited about careers in those fields. We give them a brief introduction about our safety protocols while they're in space. They're all hands on deck so they know what to do to give us their full attention when we need to in case any emergencies arise. We give them a quick briefing about what to expect in the briefing room, about uh, where we'll be going if we're landing on Mars, uh, what some of the features are there, why we would be going to explore Mars in the first place. And then we'll go into the simulator, and the classes are broken into two groups. We've got half of them going into Mars Control, half of them going into the spacecraft. And the teams are catered to different learning styles. So, for example, the navigation team has a lot of mathematics involved with doing their calculations for landing and um, locating where Mars is in space. The isolation team is really good with kinesthetic learners. They do hands-on um, work with robotic arms that are manipulating materials. It's the kids' mission, the students' mission, and so we want to make sure that they do all the problem solving, that they do all the thinking, because that's what will, that's what will help them be inspired to take that experience away with them. We usually hear that it's their best field trip all year, it's their favorite trip that they go on when they get to go out, that they look forward to it each time they come, um, that their kids really shine, that this is the best, best moment for them in their school year. Well, this is really empowering for kids because they're doing all the work, they're doing all the problem solving and critical thinking on their own. And since we step back and let them do it, that empowerment is what really gets them jazzed about it. Our corporate team building events are really great to see how a group of uh, co-workers can come in together and they're uptight or a little more structured in their pacing and just the way they walk and they sit down in the briefing room and they're not quite sure what to expect and then when they walk out they're laughing and having a good time and communicating a lot more effectively with their teammates. We want to see them go off for um, knowing that they can do things and feeling that sense of accomplishment so that science, technology, engineering and math is not an overburdensome task to try to uh, overcome when they're in school and they think, oh wait, I did this, that was great and I can do other things. And so just that feeling of empowerment and growth and uh, that things are possible and attainable so that they have um, belief in themselves and that they, um, that they grow from it.